Brian, another super <laughs> win tonight. What were your thoughts on the performance overall? Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was a very exciting game. Um, even though the scoreline would suggest it was quite tight, um, I thought it was, it was brilliant to watch and uh, to see our lads play the way they did. Um, it, I, it was exciting for me, and, and it was immensely. Um, I was obviously proud. I think that was a natural feeling after the game, but um, it, it just felt like a, a high-end game because the opposition is so good. But uh, I thought we were better. What stood out for you tonight in the performance? Um, I thought the way we played, I thought we started off um, really good. We controlled the game. Um, Blackburn has spells of possession in the first half, like they do, because they're a very good team. Um, but we kept them at bay and uh, and really protected Jay Lynch well. Um, so much so on the fact that I think he had one shot to save in the whole 90 minutes against a team who've been um, outstanding and unbeaten in 17, I think. So uh, to see us play with that control, um, both uh, when we had the ball and when we didn't have the ball, um, was very good. You know, the last two games have been pretty... Uh, straightforward for us. So tonight we knew we were facing um, a different test and to see us come through that with flying colours um, fills with optimism. And, and, you know, like we said, we've been saying for a long time, the lads are giving absolutely everything um, and we feel as if uh, as if we're capable of doing some uh, some very, very good things towards the end of the season. Do you feel like we, we showed a sort of a different side tonight then compared to the previous two wins and how much does that board well sort of going into the final four games? Yeah, I think um, you know to turn around our home results uh, so emphatically is is um, is really pleasing for us to give our supporters that uh, that sense of, of watching their team at home and and give them something to be pleased about. Um, and like I said, yeah, I feel I think for the first time this season we do feel as if we have almost everybody fit. You know, only Jimmy Ryan really and Stephen Humphreys, um, who are now struggling for fitness. So um, I think you're seeing I think you're seeing the real value of that squad in there. And what we've seen this season is whenever we've had. Um, significant players missing as much as we, as we try and focus on the ones who are fit. It's been hard for us, you know, but within that, the lads have uh, stuck to task amazingly well. And I think you're now seeing the real true value of this squad and what they're capable of doing. Yeah, you mentioned that squad and you, you had the ability to bring on Matty Dolan and Matty Lund on the hour mark. How much of an impact did, did they have on the game? I think they just helped um, the lads. Um, you know, Stephen Dooley's put an amazing amount into the last, um, the last three games. Uh, and has really calmed us down in a, in a moment where we needed him and his influence on the squad over the last uh, two weeks has been significant um, but like you, you've seen how much the, you've seen the injection of, of, of fresh impetus from that bench it really just gave us an extra push at that stage of, this, of, of the game which I felt we needed um, because Blackpool had a little spell where they were in um, were in the ascendancy but we wrestled that back and I thought we were the controlling force and, and, and deservedly got our winner uh, but like I said we ha- if I think we haven't had that all season where we'd be able to go and bring a player of the caliber of, of Matt Lund or um, or Matt Doan, um, and and have the likes of Quadro Ba on the bench, Jimmy Mack on the bench, Alex Newby on the bench, Connor Shaughnessy coming on late. We just haven't had that, and to have that now is uh, is number one increasing the competition within the team, um, and then the subs. Jack Fail has done nothing wrong; has been training really well. So to leave him out tells you that it, as difficult as that is, it's 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 the right moment for us because it's, we have that competitive. Uh, standing within the squad that we've needed and we just haven't had it this season because of uh, of injuries and, and, and the nature of the season.